Hey y'all, it's Miss Indie Beauty in the building and I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be combing out her previous lock extension install and we're going to be installing some brand new micro twist lock extensions. Now she's had these locks in for about eight months and she decided she wants to try a whole new lock journey. So I'm going to go ahead and do that for her today. So the hair that we're using is by QV our hair it's their afro kinky bulk hair in the length 18 inches and we did get it in the color red to match her hair color and this is what the hair is looking like it's just like the hair that i have in my hair and it's just like the hair that i previously installed on my previous client it's the same exact hair, just in that beautiful, gorgeous red color. And I went ahead and sectioned her hair off. And now I'm going to go ahead and start installing the micro lock extensions. So the difference between this install and the two previous installs that I have done, this install is going to be a little on the larger side because she didn't want her lock extensions to be super, super small. She wanted them to still be a little larger, but still have that fullness to it. Also, with still retaining some length as well. And this is what the back section of her hair is looking like. After I went ahead and finished a good majority of that back section, I only have two left in the top. As you guys can see me doing here. Now for her install, instead of adding two pieces of hair to each lock, I added three pieces of hair. But how I added the hair was I did not fold the hair in half. I left one leg of the hair longer than the other side. That's how I was able to get this longer length from that 18 inch of hair. I do slow it down a little further down during in this video. So stay tuned for that so you guys can see exactly how I went ahead and did this process. And as you guys can see, this hair color match was beautiful. And this is where I'm showing you guys how I installed it. So I started out with a three strand braid like I usually do. And I braided down about an inch to where I have a good, nice, solid foundation. Then as I get an inch down, I go ahead and add in my second piece of hair. But as you guys can see, as I am adding that hair in, I'm making one leg of that hair really short and the other leg of that hair is on the longer side. And then I'll go ahead and braid down about another inch and then I'm going to go ahead and add a third strand in, doing the same technique, making one side shorter and the other side long. And as you guys can see, there's two longer pieces now. And once I braid down about another inch, I split that shorter piece into two. And with those two longer pieces, I go ahead and do a two strand twist, as you guys can see here. Now, another difference between this install and my first two installs that I've ha that I have done is that I did go ahead and braid this hair all the way down to the end of her natural hair just to prevent the least amount of frizzing going forward. So just keep that in mind. If you don't want a lot of frizz, you want to go ahead and blend, I'm sorry, braid the hair down to the ends of where your natural hair ends and that's really only if you have short hair and you're installing hair on short hair if your hair is on the longer side i will definitely advise that over time you may get some frizz if you want to prevent that frizz from happening on longer hair i would suggest braid lock extensions instead 
This is the finished result of what her hair is looking like. I'm going to go ahead and oil her scalp with this Jamaican Black Castor Oil by American Pride. And I went ahead and massaged that through her scalp to make sure her scalp was nice and moisturized. In this water bottle, I do have water and leave-in conditioner. And then I went ahead and topped that with some mousse at the top to loosen her hair and have everything blended nice and neatly together. I blow dried it a little bit and this is the finished results and as you guys can see this hair looks absolutely beautiful this install was gorgeous you guys can see the size parting that i used over time her hair will blend beautifully with this and i just absolutely love this qvr hair it's nice and soft it mimics our natural hair so 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 well and i am going to continue to show you guys the updates on her hair as well on my page so stay tuned for that i do also want to quickly mention that with this hair being human hair it literally feels so lightweight on your head. It feels like you don't have any hair on your head, even though you have a full hairstyle. So keep that in mind if you guys are thinking about using human hair for these type of braided protective styles. If you guys enjoyed this video, like and follow and subscribe to my YouTube channel at Miss Unique Beauty to get more updates. Love you guys.